three, two, one. What is going on everybody? We got a solid day of some low-key business things. Mostly just some meetings, editing, and you know all the other fun things that go into running a business in the media production world. So nothing crazy today, no shoots, nothing like that. Just prepping for a shoot tomorrow. I have to head up to Newburyport for a meeting with Hank Agency. We love working with them. They're awesome to work with. And then gonna come back for a possible meeting with Itai and a couple phone calls here and there in between. So yeah, here's a, here's just a look at some of the fun things. Yeah, I need coffee. Frobies. Oh, oh, yes. All right, so I'm gonna make some phone calls. I'm gonna keep you guys at a low, weird angle. I don't know why that's there. Also, does anybody else see a dragon? Because I think that there's a dragon and it's a beast. So first we are actually going to call, actually I don't even know if I can say this agency, but call this person from some work that I've done. I have to wait for this person to pull in so I don't hit them. Wait, where am I going? Hello. Hi, how are you? This is Mike. Hey Mike, how are you? Good, good. Alright, yeah, great talking to you as well. Thank you again for contacting me, and uh, I look forward to figuring something of out. Awesome. Alright, have a good rest of the right, day. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, well, I'm sure that this angle is very flattering, uh, this low angle shot, which uh, is gorgeous, but yeah, so I think that, that went well. So now, after I get out of my meeting here and after I get out of meetings, I have to try to remember to put into my calendar for later to come up with a quote and to come up with a budget for them. If I don't put it in my calendar, then it probably won't happen because I suck. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. That's actually a really uh, cool project. They sent me over the rough script treatment on kind of what they're looking for. Again, I don't know what I can really talk about just in general. Like, it's very different than what I've done. So, which is really cool because a lot of the corporate stuff, as you guys know, I do a lot of music videos and I do a lot of stuff like that so whenever I get to do things that are a little bit more corporate they're different but this one itself just like the type of material uh, that we'll be getting is, is pretty cool so anyways I am I think halfway there to my first meeting I'm trying to think if there's any other phone calls that I need to make but yeah figure it out peace So today, I'm filming a dance video for my good friend over here. You wanna give a quick shout out? Shout out to, to yourself. Shout out to me? Yes, shout who are you? me, I am Brendan Falsey. Mm -hmm. And what are we doing today? And we are shooting my first ever music dance video that I am been sitting on for like a year and a half now. Yes. And this guy finally got me to actually like step up and do it. That's right. So. And it will be dope. Reppin. And it, he is. So if you see this, this will be the blatant, blatant Easter egg that you see in the whole video. There may be uh, a few more. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, you don't know that. I don't, um, but I like it. So this is, uh, yeah, this is just going to be me, man. This is a side of me that a lot of people don't see all that much. I'm, I'm going to switch to just you for a second. So what is the what is the song? What is the whole kind of concept and what are you trying to do with it? The song is Fragile by Tech 9 The concept is how my mind betrays itself, how overthinking things kills my motivation for a lot of stuff, and how I am fight to get over that, which I've been doing a lot recently. So I'm basically just trying to get it out there and you know show people that are like me that they're not alone. And there is a way. There are ways to get over, I don't really feel like it, or stuff like that. So yeah. Cool. You excited? I'm so excited. Let's go. 
What are you thinking? The blue light. What are you thinking? Yeah, if you want, I mean, dude, again, yeah, if you it, if you want it in the shot, that's fine. Since it's your baby, it's your little Easter egg. So if you're down to having it in every scene, then I am. Do you think that would be like, that would take away from it? Because well, that's how it sits right, right now. Okay, well, what we'll do is once we set this up and then we see how the lighting is, I'll see how it looks on camera. Okay. But what I am gonna do first is that I am just gonna have you come into the center here and then kind of get my framing right before we start setting up the light and then we're gonna figure it out. So this is where one of our first locations is. It's in this garage. So our goal is to have him in the center like this and then right above him, we're going to put a light up around here so then it comes straight down on him giving a dramatic effect and <laughs> strike a pose. And then we'll see how it goes, so wish us luck. Uh, Mrs. Robinson from back in the day. Ugh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. If it's like when he keeps transitioning and falling through like the different scenes, there's this montage near the end and like it looks like he's falling back into the pool but then he falls into her bed and like all these different things. So it's just kind of shooting it the way that you would shoot for like a continuous flowing kind of like storytelling, okay. but just kind of cutting through the scenes. So when you fall out of frame, people are gonna expect for you to fall into the ground of the studio. But we're gonna show you falling onto the ground of here, and then that's gonna be your intro into this scene. Okay. Does that make sense? Do you like that? Because I know that you want it to kind of fade. I like something like that, where it's a little bit more, you know, I don't know. Fluid. Fluid, and yeah, exactly. It it's... keeps the flow <clears throat> of the scene better. Yeah, so does that make sense? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so if I'm standing here, right, yeah, would you be able to get me? So keep this visual. Yeah, right? yeah. Would you be able to get me like here in the screen? In the same shot? Yeah. You can tell there's a person sitting here. Okay. Yeah. So I'd probably be something like this. Yes. So the only thing that we need to remember to do is that if you are like, we might have to cheat. Even probably put you up there if that's not too weird. But obviously not in like a way like you're driving the traffic. Because think about it from here. So if the camera's right here, okay, you need to be enough on that side of you for me to be able to cut into mask. Or like I need to pretty much cut the frame so it's not overlapping. So like see how if the camera's from here, my shoulder right. is overlapping you. Right. You need to be over here so when I go into like editing it, I can okay. like cut around that. Unless, of course, you wanted to try to do uh, that part with the green screen, then we can do that. But then that would have to be, I would just have to make sure that it's on a tripod and everything like that. If you do want to be like right there for one of the scenes. Jared. That's what I was thinking. Yo. That might have been it. What is up, man? Yeah, no, we uh, we're we're here. Um, again, we're just actually you know setting up for this first shot. We filmed. We had to film an exterior first while it was lighter out. Just make sure that you have gloves or that you're warm because we'll be outside later. Okay. And it's cold in here. And it's, <laughs> hey, that's a little chilly in here. All right, I'll see you later. All right, peace. That's right, Jerry's coming. <laughs> Attempt number seven. <laughs> Something like that. There he is. It's me. It is he. Forgot to ask you, Jerry, what day it is. Oh, it's shoot day! Shoot day! <laughs> shoot day! Shoot day! <laughs> so one thing that I always keep in my car, which I always forget that I keep in my car, is Cinefoil upside down. Cinefoil, if you do not know what this is, then get yourself a roll. They're very expensive, so I try to use it sparingly. But uh, we're gonna try to cheat a spotlight with the light up there and, uh, and try to wrap this around it so it gives a direct light down. So, let's see how that goes. Hopefully this is a good effect. Okay, so we finally were able to put a cord up, get that ready. And now, Beautiful. boom, go stand in the middle. Let's see if this is the look that we wanted. Boom, I think it's gonna work. Do the same dance as before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's gonna be warm. Okay, we haven't done a crazy amount yet, but coffee break is needed. That's not the right time. Enjoy, Keurig. 
Where are you on here? Yellow shirt. Oh, uh, yellow. Are you are you colorblind? Probably. Okay. That is orange, right? Unless I'm colorblind. No, that's yellow. You're yellow. That's orange. They're both shades of orange. Don't mess with me. <laughs> do not do not try. I'm not again. Don't try to make fun what of my What color stupidity. is that yellow cornbread? <laughs> <laughs> like that right there. That's orange, okay? No. <laughs> no. That is orange. No, that's orange. I'm leaving. It's been fun, guys. I'm taking my coffee and getting the fuck out of here. Alright, we just got done filming in here in the garage. How do you think it went, Jerry? Oh, I think it went fantastic. I think that it went good. Oh, yeah. It is cold. Oh, now, yeah. Now to an indoors location into a dance studio, and then back to an outdoor location when it's like 10 degrees out. Uh, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Oh, Rub my yeah. beard. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. falling. I'm oh. falling. All right. So, we just got to the second location. We are here. Can we say where it is? Is that cool? Give a shout out? Yeah, 5678 Dance Studio. Yeah. Drake in Massachusetts, Red. Boom. We are about to actually do the first scene of the music video, even though that it is the second location that we are doing, which should be cool because it's a little bit, you know, creative as well for an intro. So there'll be a couple shots that we're going to have to bust out the green screen for again and then do. So how are you feeling so far? Um, I am chilled to the bone right now. Four hours in the cold will do that, but I'm excited, I'm ready, I'm hungry. How do you think that the first part went? Oh, I think it went extremely well and I'm super excited to see what these two guys do with what they got. I gave it my all, I keep giving it my all. Hopefully I get the same in return from them. shoot this actually died while we were shooting right at the end for the last scene but yeah so we got some really really cool stuff but now I just got home I unloaded everything it's about one what is it eh. it is about almost 1 40 in the morning I just threw all of the batteries onto the chargers they're all charging I'm about to go transfer all of the footage onto the computer and I am actually challenging myself to try to edit this tonight and do a same day edit I've been wanting to try to do one of these for a while and I, I just challenge myself tonight so I'm gonna try to let you sit in on that wish me luck go high, gold, 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 gold. 